Amazing friends and welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Anna. So today we are going to be doing a summer tablescape. The last tablescape that I did was for 4th of July and now that we are officially into summer I wanted to change that out to a tablescape that will get me all the way till I'm ready to do my fall. <laughs> The last video you saw, or one of the last videos you saw, I did my coffee bar and I added lemons, hence my lemon shirt or blouse or cover up, whatever it is I have on. And I'm loving it. I'm loving the lemon look. It may be the only year I ever use lemons in my decor, but I really like it. I just think that it adds the perfect summer touch to an area and especially if it's not overdone and I'm loving it. So we're going to be doing bringing the lemons down to the dining table but not in the, in the way you may think. But I wanted to show you guys what the table looks like now before we dismantle it. So this is the table. And this is my 4th of July look. My flower arrangement has died. It is done. So rather than buying more fresh florals for the table, I'm going to do a faux arrangement with you guys today. Hopefully it turns out beautiful. But this is the last look. I also redid my table. I don't know if you guys saw that video. I did a short. Um, I actually, when I did my 4th of July tablescape, I put the white coat on it. And I said that I was going to eventually bring it down to the, the bottom, which I did. Um, but it was too stark for me. So I went over it with a stain and it gave me just the perfect look just exactly and there's a little bit of shine to it and it just looks so pretty so the table has been redone isn't that gorgeous okay so now let's clear that off and um, and get it ready for the new for the new <laughs> all cleared off <laughs> So now you can get a better idea of what the finish looks like. I love it. It looks so good. Very nautical. But I'm digging it. And I think eventually I may get new chairs, but that's a video for another day. So the first thing I'm going to do is a flower arrangement. And here is a better look at what I got at the Wholesale Flower Shop the day that I got my um, fresh flowers. I love it. Oh, so pretty, you guys. I don't know if you could tell the colors, but it's like gray, distressed. It's just so pretty. So we're going to build a beautiful, I hope, <laughs> flower arrangement out of faux flowers. Here's all the flowers that I got to work with. I'm hoping that it comes out beautiful. I hope. <laughs> I'm not an expert, but I sure do love to play. So I found a inspirational photo online and that is what I'm going to try and use. So let's get started.
Hey guys, there she is. And I think that it turned out just lovely. I'm no expert. I just look for inspirational photos. And of course, you're not going to find and most of the photos that I found as real flowers. And so I just <laughs> spent a good two hours inside um, Hobby Lobby um, looking for what I wanted. But um, I am a, I love things freehand. So even though the, the, you can tell there's like a bouquet and then I have all these, you know, I don't know, feathers like coming out of her head. <laughs> I had a vision for that. And I think that it turned out so pretty and it's just enough to add some summer yumminess to the table. So now that we have that done, let's get the tablescape going. Okay, I hope you guys liked that flower arrangement. That was fun to make. I love playing with flowers. And I do want to just touch on that. You don't have to be a professional. You don't even have to take classes. Just have fun with it. <laughs> just have fun with it. Because all that it matters is you like it. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. If you like it, do it. You do you. So have fun with it, you guys. Um, I will give you a tip. What I do do, what I do do, um, is when I'm at the store that I'm at, I always grab a vessel similar to the one I have at home and I build in that vessel. So just kind of get an idea of what I want. So I, I always look at an inspirational photo. Um, in this case, it was lemon. It was floral arrangements with lemons or lemon floral arrangements or something. And then I just looked at the images, a whole bunch of them, and I just, um, I save the ones that I like, and then I go back and I look at the ones that I saved to see what similarities they have, and that is what I go with. So um, I probably, I'm surprised that <laughs> that security didn't follow me around because I was all over that store for like three hours. I'm not kidding you. Um, because I was gonna, I, it doesn't matter. I was gonna do one thing and then my mind, my, my ADHD kicked in and what have you. And so it takes me a minute <laughs> to ground myself. So anyways, that is what we came up with. So let's get to the tablescape now. So 4th of July is fun. It's a fun holiday to decorate with. And I did say that I would probably leave it out for summer, but it was too much for me. <laughs> the red, blue, the red, it was just too much for me. Um, so I thought, what what should I do? Should I put out my Kirkland, you know? And I was like, no, I want something fresh, something fun for summer. So um, that is, you know, what I started with the flower arrangement. And then when I was shopping around, everything that I got today is from Hobby Lobby and it is um, mostly their spring collection, except for this. So this is over, I found this over by where the baskets are and the um, three-tier trays and all that kind of stuff and it was hanging. Um, it was not on sale. It was for, uh, yeah. If, if it was their wall decor, it would have been half off. So I paid full price but um, sometimes I do that. I will just be like, screw it, just get it, you know, because I was looking for something similar and I couldn't find anything. And um, I was trying to do, because their tabletop decor is on sale right now, half off. And I was trying to find something that would work on the table within my vision and I couldn't. This was it. So I just went back and I grabbed it. I could kick myself in the butt. I never pay full price. <laughs> I can't say never anymore. <laughs> because I paid full price for this, so $49.99, ouch. That hurt. <laughs> but you know what, you guys, sometimes you just have to. Like, if you have a vision in your head, I could have killed myself. I could have went to Home Goods, I could have went to TJ Maxx, I could have went to Kirkland, I could have went to so many places, but I would have never got this out of my mind. And I needed it, so I got it. So we are going to start by placing this on the table. Um, as our centerpiece. I love it. So I, I, when I did my, um, my 4th of July, I had a white tray that was kind of like my anchor. Um, I put a dessert in there. 
Um, and so that is um, what I wanted to create. But this tablescape was an anchor for the floral arrangement and the other things that I'm going to be putting there. Um, just an anchor, like a little anchor pad, if you will, for the items. So I love that. It's very beachy. It's very summer-like. It's light. It's airy. It's not heavy. And it works perfectly. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and place our floral arrangement we just made in the center of that. That floral arrangement on its own is beautiful. It is really pretty, but I'm not gonna stop there because I can't. <laughs> it's just not how I roll. The next thing we're gonna add back are my wrought iron um, candlesticks that I got from Hobby Lobby the last time with the white candles. Perfect for summer. Need a little bit of black. Black is definitely a neutral. I love to add black to some of my vignettes, some of my tablescapes just because it just adds weight. It adds weight where weight is needed. So let's go ahead and place those on the table. tricky <laughs> tricky to get to stand on there but I did it so I wanted I found this next item and I'm very bummed because when I got out to the car and I took it out of the cart to put into the bag in my car the glass fell out and shattered I went in she said oh no problem go ahead and get another one I went to go get another one and the other one was in the same condition as this one <laughs> and I said you know what I'm gonna go with it I like it so it is a kind of a very nautical looking lantern. It had a glass globe here, but I went ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and go with it because I can buy a little candle to stick here, not a problem. And I wanted this so that I could balance the, the weight on either side of the floral arrangement. So let's go ahead and place this guy next. So pretty I'm loving that so much and it's really starting to just make everything cohesive from the, the coffee bar to the dining room table love okay so of course we need placemats and you know I thought to myself maybe I don't need to buy any more placemats because of the room situation but I've got plenty of room in here I've got a nice deep drawer where I'm storing placemats and napkins. So um, I went ahead and got these because they can be rolled up and curled up, but they are a nice, I don't know, burlap? Is that what this is called? Jute. They're a nice jute. I love the fringe detail. Again, very nautical, very beachy theme. And I wanted to make sure to stay within that. So let's go ahead and place those on the table next. That's looking really good. I'm loving it. So in case you're new, just so you know, it's just my husband and I in this 700 square foot apartment. So that's why I'm not doing a full table scape because it's pointless. <laughs> it's just he and I. So um, just in case you're somebody who's going, why is she not doing more, you know, tablescapes? It's just the two of us. So it's always a table for two. So now that we have our placemat set, we need a charger, okay? So um, I went round and round and round and round with the colors, and um, there are so many different colors that you can go with in summer. You can go with salmon, you can go with turquoise, you can go with blue, you can go with yellow, you can, there's so much you can do. Uh, so I wanted to keep it, um, 
beachy. I wanted to keep it, we are in the Bay Area, so um, I did want to keep it beachy. I wanted to, I wanted it to kind of uh, reflect, um, you know, that we're near the water. And so um, we are going to be using this color. Oh, oh my gosh, I fell in love with it. So pretty. So I was toying around, you know, I was just toying around and um, green is um, just, it's been a color that I've been really drawn to for probably the last year. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and set these down on the placemats and we're going to make the tablescape come together and it's going to be so beautiful. Doesn't that look good already, you guys? It just, uh, it's so pretty. I love the green, the green, the, I just, it's so pretty already. Uh, okay, let's keep going. So there's something to be said about summer. When I think of summer, now I'm born and raised in San Diego. And when I think of summer, I think I remember the days, you know, the beach days, being at the beach and um, hanging out by the pool. Uh, just relaxing, um, casual, breezy days. And, you know, when Ernie and I were dating, we've been together since we were 16 and 17. Um, as kids, we used to literally live at the beach. I mean, live. We would take our blankets and we would take, I mean, not our blankets, our beach towel and ourselves, and that was it. And we would um, play in the water all day. We, we talk about that now. We always talk about that, about how we spent days and what, that's probably why we're so skinny because <laughs> we were in the water all the time. But anyways, growing up in San Diego, you live on the beach. So, um, so those are the, the, the colors that, you know, I think of the aqua blues and the greens and the coral and all of that because, you know, growing up in, near the beach. So anyways, I saw these and I could not pass them up. They are so pretty. They've got all the sea life on them. Hopefully you guys can pick up the color. Sand dollars, starfish, crabs. I mean, it's just so pretty. All the colors. So we're gonna go ahead and place that, or these, on the chargers. are moving in it's getting dark in here sorry about that I'm expecting my filming light today so I'm super excited this apartment is so dark at certain times of the day that I had to order a light so that when I'm filming you can see I have all the lights on everywhere <laughs> and I've got two really bright windows that um, I'm facing right now but it's cloudy outside so I apologize for that so of course we have dinner plates, we need salad plates, and we are sticking with the nautical theme. I saw these and I had to have them. I think they are so pretty. I love that they have the distressed edge here. It's like a distressed plate, but it's got the starfish, and it's such a beautiful color. So let's go ahead and place these on top of the dinner plates. Oh my gosh, it's looking so beautiful, you guys. Doesn't it make you just want to sit down and enjoy a meal? So pretty. So I was struggling with the napkins. And um, when I think of beaches, I, of the beach, I think of picnics. When I think of summer, I think of picnics. So I wanted something that was checkered, but I didn't want it to be farmhousey because I'm not farmhouse. Um, and it seems like a lot of the buffalo check and all that kind of stuff is out. 
but I did find these beautiful blue and white checked napkins or gingham I guess it's called and that immediately said picnic to me and I already had these beautiful linen look with the um, lace Let's see if I can get a good there we go so it's got like a linen fill to it and then a beautiful lace um, end or trim on it and I thought you know I could use both of those and then I found these beautiful napkin rings at Hobby Lobby you know they are famous for they're not shell they're wood but don't they look like a seashell kind of like abalone they're so pretty so anyways we're going to so we're going to go ahead and use both of these napkins i'm going to show you how i do that and the napkin ring for our place settings with that but I just take the um, the back of each napkin and um, face those the backs together and then you can just do whatever side you want you just pull the middle of whichever side you want to be the prominent side and um, I wanted the beige with a little bit of that blue check um, coming out so we're not going to stop there. I saw these beautiful wine glasses or water goblets. You can use them for whatever. Um, and they just they match perfectly. And they just say the ocean to me. So I picked these up. Aren't they pretty? They've got like a little iridescent to them. Just so pretty. So let's go ahead and place these on the table. got a lot of inspiration out of today's tablescape and flower arrangement so that you can create something beautiful in your own home or outdoors. I think this would be beautiful on an outdoor patio. If you haven't already subscribed, I hope you plan on doing that before you leave. We have a lot coming up on this channel, you guys. We have so much coming up. Um, I still have to get to the living room. <laughs> Um, but I'm gonna have to wait on that because I need to order some things and I'm leaving and I just need to wait until I'm home to get those items so Anyways, we have lots coming up. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure to do that before you leave. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think. I would really love that. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.